You ever wonder where jack-o'-lanterns come from? Well, here's the story. Once upon a time, there was a guy named Jack. He was a horrible man, an awful, awful human being, played tricks on people all the time. He was just vile and an awful drunk. Well, the devil really took a liking to Jack and thought, you know what, I can't wait for this guy to die. I'm going to go get him now. So he rolls up on Jack. Jack sees the devil. Jack's like, whoa, I knew I'd be seeing you, but I didn't expect to see you so soon and didn't expect to see you when I'm alive. The devil says, yeah, man, I really love your work. Um, you really need to come with me. Jack says, yeah, I figured it was coming. Well, could we possibly stop by the pub so I can get another drink before we go? The devil says, you know what, why not? I like you. So they go to the pub, they're tying one on, they're throwing him back, and here comes the tab. Um, hmm, well, I don't have any money, says Jack. Well, the devil's like, well, don't look at me, I ain't got no money. And Jack says, you know what, one last prank before I leave Earth. Tell you what, turn yourself into a coin, I'll give it to the barkeep, he'll think he gets paid. As soon as he turns around, we'll turn yourself back into yourself and we'll get out of here. The devil says, you know what, <laughs> you got style, man, let's do it. The devil turns himself into a coin, and instead of paying the bar tab, Jack puts a coin in his pocket and traps the devil in there because inside he's got also a silver crucifix. Devil's pleading with him thinking, wow, this guy. So uh, Jack says, I'll let you out under one condition. J devil says, what is it? He says, give me 10 more years, 10 more years before you come take me and I'll go willingly with you and I'll, I'll let you out of here. Devil says, cool, uh, deal. He lets him out, they go separate ways. Jack is awful for another 10 years and here comes the devil again. Uh, this time, Jack says, ah, before we go, I'm really hungry. Uh, Devil says, well, there's nothing out here, man. What do you, what, what do you want? He says, well, uh, that, 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 there's an apple tree right there. If you don't mind climbing up there for me, Devil says, well, well why not? I'll, I'll do it. He goes up. Uh, Jack please says he has a bum leg or something. Anyway, Devil's in the tree. While he's up there, Jack carves uh, crucifixes all around the base of the tree. Devil can't get out. <laughs> Thinking, wow, this guy's good. Anywho, Jack says, I'll tell you what, I'll let you down if you do not ever take me to hell. Don't take me to hell. Don't take me to hell. The uh, devil says, okay, cool. Cool. Deal. Cool. Uh, you're, not, you're not coming to hell. I'm not, I'm not taking you to hell. Jack says, okay, that's fantastic. So, uh, eventually, over time, Jack has a few more years of awfulness and then he dies. Starts floating up towards heaven. They take a look and they're like, you got to be kidding. And Jack says, yeah, I didn't think so. Sin heads back down towards hell. While he's rolling up to hell, the devil sees him coming up thinking, oh, hell no. No, no, not this guy. Luckily, the devil that made that deal didn't have to let him in. Said, I'm sorry about it, Jack. We made a deal. You can't come in here. But I tell you what, because I really actually do like you. I'm going to give you this lump of coal from hell to light your way. Because the underworld, the mid-between world, this not in heaven, not in hell world can get kind of dark. So here you go. Jack, with this lump of hell coal for his light, decides to carve a turnip into a lantern, puts the coal in there, and that's where you get Jack, O Lantern, Jack of the Lantern. Mm -hmm.